Shout out, man, it's your boy La Skrilla, man, rockin' with Hoodlum E and T, nigga, this shit really, like, mandatory, you know what I'm saying? This that East Savannah Fred, what's so HV shit? This that turf to the tracks, this that real East shit. And so I'm gonna ask you anyway, like, like I said, did you already know that you was about to even be released? Because you just got released this month, like, a couple of days ago, really, in a sense. Yeah. So even with you coming out, did you already know that that was about to happen? Well, you know... I did. They told me 48 hours before I was getting released, like, Are you about to get out in a couple of days. That's what the administration called me up to the front office and said, you about to get out. But I've been working for that shit, though. Like, man, that judge told me um, 30 years served 20. You know what I'm saying? So when they told me that shit, because I had went to trial, and when I went to trial, they playing my music videos and all this shit, and mm -hmm. it's like, it wasn't even about the charge, it's about my character that's fucked up down here with the systems and shit. So they gave me all that time, you know, I ate it, took it to the dough. But as soon as I got up that road in prison and all, I kept, I got in the law work. I, um, niggas still making money in jail, so a nigga been hustling while a nigga could got down, pay for some real lawyers and shit. Niggas, a lot of jailhouse lawyers. I was just trying to get all the help I could get, man, because I knew when he said that crazy ass shit, like, Man, I ain't about to do no motherfucking 20 years. Yeah. So people were thinking it was a rumor that I called that time, but it really wasn't. Well, So it took me a minute, a couple of years after I had to get out because I had to fight. I had to find the flaws. I had to find I had to turn to a fucking lawyer in a sense. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, and it worked. And shit, one day they just called me and be like, man, you about to come home in a couple of days. So I'd be like, damn, I got another chance. For real, for real. Awesome. All right, so even with you being, you know, incarcerated at that moment in time, like, was that your main focus getting out, or were you even thinking about the music and so forth, or like what was going through yeah. your head? I was thinking about the music the whole time. Mm. Every day I think about the music. I ain't never like, I never took my eyes off that basket because you know I put a lot of eggs in that basket before I left. I did a lot of shit. I did a lot, and it was like my dream was taken away from, me. and it made me want that shit even more. So it was just fucked up that it had to give me that much. But I'm like, bro. This shit don't end right here. It's a way around this shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I just kept that hunger. And in the meantime, I just been studying the game a little more. I already got experience, but I just like study more. I thought a lot about the mistakes I made. And, you know, I try to like think how Chang ain't helping me as far as like humble me down, save my character. Because before I went in, I was always like, I don't know. It's shit like it was getting kind of overwhelming. And Nick, I ain't really like the person I was becoming. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, nigga mess with all these different girls and, you know, and just dealing with people I don't need to be around and just, mm -hmm. it was tearing away. So just sitting down, it's just like, it, I'm woke now. You know what I'm saying? And I know what I, my purpose is. So shit, my music changed a little bit because I got more of a purpose now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and it's just like, shit, I just had to play my part. Got you. All right, so I want to take it back anyway as far as like, where where are you um, originally from as far as when we talk about Savannah though, which part? Eastside. Eastside? Yeah. Bet. So even like right now I'm gonna say like how do you feel like the support is right now with you coming home from like your upbringings and so forth from the east? Like how they feel about you being home right now? Man, they showing love. Yeah. They is. It is. And um they showing love from the streets to the pen because it's like I was around people who doing life and they were like they looking at what I'm doing and then I got people who dealing with me before this music. And then, you know, it's a lot of people who um, doubt me, too. So they watching. So it's like, the the, the city fucking with me, right? Mm -hmm. But I know that they on some shit like, man, is you serious? Is you going to do this, man? Because, you know, I, I speak for a different tone of people. And um, I just want to get down, draw a little more light to that shit. But they fucking with me. Yeah, gotcha. true. All right, because even before going in or whatnot, like, you was reaching some milestones and so forth as far as personal and just, like, in the city-wise. So, like, with you, do you still feel like you got that motivation, that drive to keep it pushing? My drive and ambition, like, I'm actually ten times more focused because it's, like, I was running around doing other shit besides music. It's just the fact that I was using, like, my hustle mm -hmm. in this music shit. Like, when I first started, I was rapping, but... It was harder for me then because I wasn't known as a rap. I'm known as a street dude, as a drug dealer and all that shit. Mm -hmm. And that's what I got in trouble for because I couldn't really separate from that life. So they wonder how I got into rap because I was doing other shit. So it's nice, like, I'm a hundred times, full time 
rap Rapper. artist, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But I'm still use that same hustle and drive instead of me trying to buy packs and drugs. I, I use it for like beats and promotion. Like when somebody like try to front me some work, I'm like, nah, front me some beats or, right. or, or yeah. some promotion or a spin or two. So I just yeah. use the same type of skill. Like, Got it's, you. it's the same principles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to say like now, so like I say, like you woke, you're um, what you call that? Separating the two from like business and personal in the sense like you got a better own um, form of separating the two anyway I want to say like yeah. alright so right now would you say anything's changed up when it comes to your approach with the music as far as um Your process with making it as far as if you write and now if you not or yeah, you know what? <laughs> I wrote like five six. I probably wrote like a thousand songs while I've been away mm -hmm. When I first jumped out half of the songs I did I kind of knew in Hawk I used to always recite like and then a lot of people still sending me beats in my email we still like not supposed to but people still have cell phones in jail yeah so I still had emails I still craft I looked at the culture I wasn't studying my movement what I had going on I just like listening to the whole fucking wave and how can I add or how can I define how can I be a part of this you know what yeah. I'm saying so it's just like I, I have a different approach but I always had to switch it up at the same time because I've been gone four years. Yeah. So it's like people that I was tight with, they, they still a resource. They still like fuck with me. But it's like I got to show my worth. I, I got to yeah. go hard. You got to show how much Skrilla could do on his own. And it's like a lot of love I'm getting right now is genuine. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm being resourceful. Like you might have somebody that could still out rap me. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to try to outwork you. I'm going to try to hush you. I'm going to try to outsource you. It, mm -hmm. it's, it's a way around that shit so you know you know one could make a change your life and i'm dealing with a lot of good folks so shit, i'm just keep my foot on the guys for real i got you all right so right now like you said you've been away for a minute you know four years and so forth do you feel like what was it a huge um adjustment trying to like as you've been like because you've been locked up too though but you also had the cell phone so you've been able to see what's been going on yeah. but do you feel like it's going to be like a huge like challenge for you to try to Get in that mix of what's going on now compared to what was going on then when you was making music. I can't say that it won't, but I'm going to give it my all, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you really don't know what tomorrow holds, but it's like, shit. Because, you know, being gone, and that wasn't my first time being gone, it's sad to say between juvenile and adulthood, I spent like 10 years of my life incarcerated. Mm. So it's like, fuck me up mentally. So, but, so when I get out here, I act like I got everything under control, but I know that it's going to really take more than that, and it's like, I, I I go off of people energy the vibes and you know I ain't no real no stupid guy so shit mm. I just like but I know I want this shit you know what I'm saying I'm gonna do whatever this shit take so I can't say that it's just like but at the same time it shit feel natural to me because I know I'm supposed to be here right but, but it's like it's like yo I got some adjustment to do I got some adjustment to do like. I threw out this project out there for my supporters, my listeners, this shit for them. We all said free life scrilling and mm. all that shit. But I'm gonna go from there, like, and I'm gonna reach these milestones. And I'm just, I'm ready for it though. You know what yeah. I'm saying? If I gotta adjust along the way, shit, that's what hustlers do. So. I feel you. I feel you. I like it. All right, so right now, moving forward, you already announced that you got an um, EP you're trying to drop in the future, um, coming soon, July. I forgot the date you said, like July 6th. Yeah, it's actually this Friday. This Friday? Yeah. Bet. Yeah. Bet. So when did you decide on that? As When did that come into play? Was that just a spur of the moment type thing or it was already planned? Along the way, like, I had a plan the whole time I was locked up. But mm -hmm. now that I'm active and I'm out here, I see I got to kind of do things a little different because shit don't always go the way you expect, but mm -hmm. it's always a way to around this shit. You know what I'm saying? You got to kind of like adjust with the climate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's a five song EP, quick short songs, give people a little taste of me because my delivery is different before when I went in, like I kind of reinvented myself, you know what I'm saying, and shit. Along the way, is the, the money gonna come. So mm -hmm. I always been the type of person, pop off and show money. My name is Skrilla, you know what I'm saying, but now you seeing me from the ground up. So it's like, starting this shit over. And I yeah. know I'm gonna get this shit, so it's like, I just want people to see that storyline, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm fresh out and I'm back to work and I'm doing as much as I can by myself. Fortunately, I got good people in my corner, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We fucking with each other and it's just like, shit, it's all a blessing, man. Got you. All right, you, you mentioned on reinventing yourself in a sense, but do you feel like it's going to be like a challenge trying to balance, you know, keeping the core fan base and trying to like get new? You know what? People told me that before because like my, my old core that used to be like, I had a slower rap and I was yelling a lot more. I had more energy and I, mm. I actually want to bring that with this new sound because my new music sounded a little more raspy and um, 
but it, I, and I got a, a quicker delivery. But shit, man, I just want to like. I had to. I need that core fan base, but even though it seemed like I had something going on, I was really was all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I need to build on my core. So it's like shit. I don't mind starting. I don't mind. I really want to struggle to make you respect this shit most. I'm doing this shit from the ground up. Fortunately, them people will deal with me, but I know what my vision is. I'm really trying to change and do something different. I'm really like, I'm a rapper, 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 yeah. rapper. I'm not just no like, nigga. Like I'm doing this shit. I'm hustle. I'm go back to the streets. I'm gonna do this shit in the club. Like I done yeah. did this shit, but now it's like, while I've been gone, it's like I woke up. Like my daughter, my my only daughter, mm -hmm. she was born while I was away. So you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying. So now that I got all this shit on my face, it's like. Man, let's let's be serious about this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And at the same time, the Zex said people was who had my music while I was locked up. They were telling me like, yo, your shit is straight, but you really need to be a little more wave. You need to see what the fuck involved the culture, cause it's like I was so different. Mm. But you know, people ain't really know how to take it. You know, I, I'm still kind of different, cause I, it's, it's a lot of things I'ma rap about. You don't really hear too much as far as like mass incarceration, racism, sexism, back there. but right now we got to give the folks what they use, what they fucking with, and at mm -hmm. the same time, I'm get me in there, so it's like a brand I want to grow upon, so let, let's go ahead and knock that shit down and build this shit from the ground up, if, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, I got you, I feel what you're talking about, I feel what you're talking about, 